Hello everyone, I wanted to discuss a key service AWS recently announced, which is currently in preview, called Amazon Bedrock Agent Core. So Agent Core simplifies building, deploying, and managing AI agents at scale. And the really neat thing about Agent Core is it works with any agent framework and any foundation model, not just Bedrock hosted models. So you have the flexibility to use frameworks like LangGraph, LangChain, uh, strands agents, you might have seen my previous video about that, and even things like crew AI and, and custom uh, frameworks as well. So let's view the platform in a little bit more detail. So Agent Core consists of the following core services. You have Agent Core Runtime, and this provides the secure serverless uh, execution for the agents. And it also provides complete session isolation for your agents and it preserves that context between the interactions. And then you have Agent Core Memory, which manages both short-term conversational context and long-term knowledge extraction. So this allows for a more personalized agent experience. Then you have Agent Core Gateway. So think of this as the intermediary that allows you to easily integrate your agents with your tools, i.e. your external integrations, and uh, also can assist with turning your existing AWS Lambda functions or API integrations into tools as well. So there's a couple of built-in tools like a code interpreter and a browser tool that's available as well. Uh, and you also have traceability and logging capabilities for your agents with the observability uh, piece. Okay, so for today's project, we'll be working with LangChain and LangGraph and for those uh, not aware of LangChain and LangGraph, so LangChain is an open source framework that allows you to integrate with various LLM providers with a standardized interface. And then you have LangGraph, which builds off of the capabilities of LangChain and allows for the creation of AI agents with multi-step workflows. So here's a view of our LangGraph agent. We're going to take uh, in a query and based on the query our workflow determines do we need to execute a search tool using uh, DuckDuckGo's search engine or do we just use the model's general understanding and create the completion. If we execute the tool we retrieve a set of search results and then have the model synthesize our results and generate a completion. So this demo is going to assume that you've set up your integrated development environment, already created a Python virtual environment, and also have the AWS CLI installed and confirm connectivity to your AWS cloud environment. Once that's in place, we'll need to install the following Python libraries. First, we'll need to install the Agent Core Starter Toolkit um, I'm using UV uh, to install this, but you can use your Python virtual environment, etc. And this toolkit simplifies uh, the entire process from development to deployment. Uh, we'll also need these additional libraries for our LangGraph agent. We have the core agent core library, and then we have LangChain and LangGraph packages that allow us to connect to our Bedrock uh, hosted LLMs. And also for the DuckDuckGo search uh, uh, capabilities, we're installing the DuckDuckGo search package that allows us to create uh, the DuckDuckGo uh, search tool. Okay, so let's jump into the demo. All right, so I'm in my integrated development environment and uh, the team at LangChain offers a great tool called LangGraph Studio. And Studio is like a visual development environment for building and debugging Lang graph applications. So I've already launched our agent on Lang graph Studio, and uh, you're, this is the actual code for my agent, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, but let's jump to the visual view of uh, the Lang graph agent. And here you have it. So based on this graph that you see, uh, there's essentially two core components to LangGraph, and that's nodes and edges. So the nodes represent the processing unit or the actions in the actual agentic workflow, 
and the edges represent the connection or the transition between the nodes. Uh, based on this graph, you see there's three nodes, uh, call LLM, run tool, and synthesize. And the edges define the workflow as a user inputs the query and invokes the LLM. So if the LLM can answer the query based on general knowledge, then it will create a completion. And that's the end of the invocation. And if the LLM determines it needs to perform a web search in order to answer the query, then it uh, will execute the run tool, which executes our DuckDuckGo search engine to search the web for the top five related articles and pass that query along with the web searches to the LLM to synthesize and create that final response. So let's uh, run some test queries. First, uh, I'll start with the basic one uh, stating, uh, hi, what's your name? And we hit submit and you see that it, it goes through the motions and because it doesn't need to call the tool, it essentially starts from start and call LLM. It calls the LLM, uses this general knowledge, greets me, and that's the end uh, of uh, the actual invocation. But now let's ask the agent, what's the latest news on AI agents? And here we see that it calls the LLM, but now it also invokes the tool. So when you see this little table, it's essentially telling you that it's calling the tool DuckDuckGo search. And the tool returns a set of results that it got uh, from the actual website searches. And then that context along with the query is sent to the synthesize node to essentially uh, give us our completion, okay? Step through our code uh, very quickly. So you see uh, where I'm defining the LLM and uh, I'll just scroll down here where I'm defining the nodes and edges that you saw in Lane Graph Studio. And it's important to note that this is standard Lane Graph code. Uh, I'll take this code as is, and I have a skeleton file predefined for Bedrock Agent Core called LangGraph-AgentPY. So I'm going to take this code and let's walk through the AgentPY class. Uh, I've made an import of Bedrock underscore Agent Core dot runtime and uh, importing the Bedrock Agent Core app class and uh, defining it as uh, app and I created a function that takes in an input and executes my graph. Uh, notice that I placed the app entry point decorator above the function. And I'm gonna take my actual lane graph code that you saw from the previous file and paste it right into this file, okay? And there's no refactoring needed. I'm gonna go ahead and save this file and I'm going to shut down my uh, Lane Graph Studio and, and clear that. So now let's test this by deploying it as our uh, Agent Core uh, hosted uh, Lane Graph graph. So uh, I'm just going to execute this Python file. And uh, our agent is running. Now I'm going to test it with uh, a couple of curl commands. So uh, if you notice that the uh, agent is running on localhost port 8080. So I'm going to take my curl commands. I'm gonna take the first one and just uh, uh, invoking it with a JSON query, uh, just like I did in Lane Graph Studio, saying, uh, hi, what's your name? And you see it says, my name is Claude, it's nice to meet you. So now let's take uh, our other predefined curl command. And now I'm saying, what's the latest news on AI agents? The same query that you saw me run in Lane Graph Studio. And again, this is gonna invoke the tool and uh, generate a completion as a re result of that. So it says, based on the search results, it appears the latest news on AI agents and it, it gives you uh, some information. 
So now what we want to do is perform the actual cloud deployment since we have verified uh, that our um, uh, agent is running. And I have an empty directory defined called agent core lane graph underscore v2. I'm literally going to take the lane graph agent followed uh, along with my requirements.txt file and I'm going to copy them into this directory uh, only because th those are the only two files needed now to deploy it uh, to the actual cloud. And uh, I'm going to actually go into this directory All right, and uh, first we'll configure our agent core agent uh, using the agent core CLI. So uh, I have a predefined command here. Uh, and what I'm doing, let me cut and paste it into the screen here, make sure I captured everything. Okay. So what you see me doing at this point is uh, I'm essentially stating uh, configure the agent. Uh, the entry point is my executable file, uh, which is LangGraph agent. The name of my deployed agent is going to be LangGraph underscore agent underscore v2, followed by the execution role. I, I have a very specific ARN tied to this role with appropriate permissions and the requirements.txt file. The requirements.txt file contains the actual Python packages that need to be uh, installed with this. So what, what happens when this runs is it's asking, does do I want to auto-create an Elastic Container Registry? And that's the repository that will house our container. And I do want it to auto-create. It's asking, do I want to configure authorization for my agent? And I'm just going to choose the default value, no. Perhaps we'll record a video for the future on how you would integrate this with OAuth or Cognito, etc. And there you have it. It created the configuration parameters. So if I go into my um, lane graph, uh, agent core lane graph v2 directory, you see it created a Bedrock agent core YAML file, followed by uh, a Docker file. So the Docker file is essentially uh, the configuration for the Docker container, and the Bedrock underscore agent YAML file is additional configuration uh, for my agent. Now it's important to note you could also do this the manual way if you want more control over uh, container creation, where you create your own Docker file, create your own registry and go through the steps of deployment. This is just a more bootstrapped approach uh, to get things running uh, quickly. Okay, so now that that's defined, uh, to deploy this to a, uh, the cloud, I'm just going to do an agent core and launch. And there you have it, now it's executing. This process takes uh, a couple of minutes uh, to complete. But let's switch the slides and quickly walk through what's happening here. So here's what's happening behind the scenes is that the source code is essentially uploaded from my IDE environment to a secure S3 bucket. Uh, so I'm using Kiro as my IDE environment. And, and then from the S3 bucket, uh, the code is passed through AWS code build that retrieves the code and builds an optimized container. Uh, so that's essentially our build server. And then from there, uh, the container image is stored in our uh, Amazon ECR, our Elastic Container Registry. And then from there, the container registry essentially sends that uh, URI for the registry to the Bedrock Agent Core Runtime, and it's deployed on uh, Amazon Bedrock's Agent Core Runtime environment. So let's check back in a couple of minutes and see how the deployment is progressing. Okay, so at this point, our agent is successfully deployed to the agent core runtime. Let's see what this looks like in the AWS console first. 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the AWS console and uh, I'm going to click on the service Amazon Bedrock Aging Core or you can also search for it in the search box if, if you don't have it handy. Okay, so from Aging Core, I'm going to look at the hamburger menu on the left and click on Aging Core Runtime. And you'll see that the version 2 agent uh, exists that I deployed. Uh, you'll have key agent details that you need, uh, the actual ECR image URL, logging if you want to observe that, and various ways to invoke our deployed agent. And uh, we also have an endpoint configured if, if I want to invoke it uh, via the endpoint. But let's go back to our IDE. And the simplest way to invoke our agent is to use the agent core CLI. And uh, we actually have the prompt here uh, where I'm saying essentially agent core. Uh, let's just clear this out here. Agent core invoke, uh, and I send it a, a JSON where it's saying the key is prompt and the value is what's the latest news on AI agents, uh, followed by uh, two dashes in agent and followed by the name of the actual lane graph agent. If you recall, we called it version two. And it's invoking it uh, via the cloud endpoint. And there you have it, there's the completion uh, along with all these session information. Now, it's important to know one of Agent Core's strengths is its observability capabilities. So uh, we, we can look at uh, the observability statistics by uh, going to Agent Core status, followed by the uh, agent's name here. So that's name graph agent V2. And from there, you, you're able to uh, actually tail the actual logs in real time as you invoke, or you can also view the logs in your CloudWatch logs um, for, for the agents as well. So this concludes the demo. I will be posting my code to GitHub. I just need to uh, clean it up and get some of my uh, credentials out of there. Uh, anything you see here will be deleted, so don't worry about uh, uh, any cloud IDs and things like that that you notice here. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and thank you for watching. Take care.